we've got a barometer in here. He's hoping horologist Steve Fletcher will be able to turn his hand to this antique weather instrument. So I inherited this from my grandparents. It's the one item I've got that, that, that you know, really symbolises uh, them and, and the relationship I had with them. Steve, this is one for you. Yeah. What do you reckon? I think it's sort of 1920s, 30s. More often than not, the uh, mechanism is just seized up. So that's completely seized up. So if that's anything like the mechanism, maybe that is okay. the reason why it's stopped. Yeah. Leave it with me and I will do my best to get it working. Thank Great. you very Thank much. You. Right. Take care. Early barometers from the 18th century were symbols of affluence and must have items for the aristocracy. Aneroid barometers like Ashes were invented in 1840. They used a series of springs, chains and dials attached to a vacuum and were a cheaper and safer alternative to their predecessors that had used expensive and highly toxic mercury. Everything looks as if it's working. It's, it's not seized up. I've got to check and see whether the movement is working under pressure or not. And Steve has a low-tech trick to test whether it's the barometer's actual mechanism that's faulty. I've put it into this bag so that I can force some pressure onto the mechanism and see whether there's any movement in the hand. What I'm actually doing is replicating an increase in atmospheric pressure. You see there is some movement there if I put some pressure on. It still doesn't explain exactly why the hand has stayed still for decades. Even though the mechanism seems to be working, fastidious Steve is going to strip it down and clean it thoroughly just to make sure. No, oh, it is moving. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, that's easing up beautifully. So, problem solved. Good. Very, very happy. With the hand loosened and the mechanism checked, Steve can now reassemble the barometer. There we go. Oh, wow. Fantastic. The mechanism I took out, I cleaned it through, gave it good service, and um, that wasn't causing it to not work. Right. What actually was causing the problem was that the dial was uh, tight against the hand. OK. So I've released that, and it's working fine. Fantastic. It is like having a piece of them there at all times, and, and every time I see it, it reminds me of them and, and the good times I have. So to have it now, on the wall and working, it's going to be great.